What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another banger video and today we're going to be doing the 2019 Rod and Reel Arsenal. I've had several requests to do this video for this year and so I'm going to give it to you guys. But first of all, you guys go check out Fly at South Apparel. Super comfortable clothing. If you guys like the clothing that I'm wearing right now, the shirt, the hat, all super comfortable, very reasonably be priced as well. So go check out the description down below. At least follow them on Instagram, check out their website, maybe something sparks your interest, and uh, go check it out. Also, go check out Imitator Baits, um, and uh, we've, got, we've got brand new baits all across the line, so go check that out as well. But now let's get into the, uh, the 2018 Rod, or 2019 Rod and Reel Arsenal. This hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, since the my last Rod and Reel Arsenal video earlier in 2018, but this these are the five rods that I'm going to be using day in day out every time I go fishing, unless I'm fishing with somebody else or whatever, and I don't have a rod. Uh, but these are mainly the rods that I'm going to be using all throughout 2019. I don't really plan on buying another Rod and Reel Arsenal or another Rod and Reel. Um, I might buy one here, um, but I'm not completely sure, just because out of all the styles of fishing and all the baits that I like to throw, I can cover everything I need to do with these five rods and reels. So I'm going to start off with the spinning rod, and then we're going to get into the heavier gear. So this is the 13 Fishing Defy Black and a 7-1 medium. This is your all-around great spinning rod and reel combo. There's the rod right there. And uh, the reel is a 13 Fishing Source X. I actually have a review over this rod and reel combo itself. The reel is 40 bucks and the reel or the rod is $60. So um, $100, $100 rod and reel combo which is great and a seven foot medium actually wait seven foot one inch medium is like a seven foot medium heavy in a bait casting world like this thing you can throw I've got a Ned rig on here right now you can throw shaky heads you can also throw jerk baits on here small crank baits some littlest crank baits um, I've thrown small frogs on here even and this is this is very versatile rod it's super sensitive as well um, it's, it's a great rod and reel combo. Um, the, rod, the, re, the rod, the reel, the line is a 20 pound uh, H2O Express line. And uh, I, I believe the line, it's, it's Academy's line brand, uh, like fishing line brand. And it's really good just for like your spinning rod. You don't know, I don't need super expensive uh, line on my spinning rod. Uh, so I just. I get, get this stuff and it works really well. Um, so next, I don't have any medium bait casting rods. And the reason why is because everything I would throw on that medium bait casting rod, I could either throw on my medium heavy rods or I could throw it on that spinning rod. So I don't have any medium heavies, but the rod closest to a medium heavy would be this, or the rod closest to a medium would be this guy right here. This is the Denali Covert. This is a 7.6 medium heavy. It's really a crankbait rod, and uh, you guys can see it right there. It's really, it's really just a uh, crankbait rod, just because it's longer and it's got a little bit flimsier tip than a normal 7 foot 6 inch medium heavy to use all around. But just because it has that little bit flimsier tip does not mean Denali is sacrificing any of its backbone or any of its power. This is still a super strong blank and uh, it, it works really well. I've thrown chatterbaits on here, I've thrown uh, spinner baits, some small swim baits, uh, crank baits, uh, topwater baits. You can really throw a big variety of baits, even though it's just a crankbait rod or specialized for a crankbait rod. So um, that's, that's kind of my longer rod. If I throw crankbaits, it's going to probably be on that one. Um, so next, these are two rods and reel combos that are the exact same, so I just kind of put them together. Um, I'm not going to go into these too long because I've got several videos over these rod and reel combos, and you can watch tons of videos over them. But these rods and reels are the 13 Fishing Defy Black, 
$60 rods, $80 reels, $140 combo, 10 bucks for a line. Honestly, in my opinion, the best run reel combo you can get for $150. Um, and that's that's pretty good deal. Uh, this is this model is a seven foot three inch medium heavy. I normally use this one a lot more for like some moving baits because you can cast a lot farther. Um, and the reel is a 13 fishing origin A, uh, and this has 17 pound fluorocarbon on there. So um, actually, right now I have a, a, a an, an imitator baits jig, um, but like I said, normally I throw chatterbaits and some of that stuff on there, but I've got a chatterbait on this one. Uh, like now, I normally throw uh, jigs and like some Texas rigs or flipping baits on this one because it's a little bit shorter and you can get a little, a little accurate cast under trees and near docks and that kind of thing. Uh, accurate casts. So, that's why I normally throw this one on. 7 foot 1 inch medium heavy. Uh, super good backbone and everything. Love this rod, uh, and it has a 13 fishing origin A on there. This one has 50 pound power pro braid. So, um, other than that, those are two great rod and reel combos. If you're looking to get in the bait casting game, uh, I highly, highly recommend those two rods right there. Uh, it just depends on. I mean, if you just get a seven one or a seven three, you can both. They both catch fish just as equally. Um, and then the last run reel combo, this is my meat stick. Um, this is the thickest rod that I have, I believe, seen to date, other than a broomstick. Um, this is the Favor Rods Flares Froggin' Flippin' Stick. This, this is like the first generation model. I believe they now have uh, a couple more models that are less stiffer. Um, so like a, an, a, a heavy rod. This one is a seven foot three inch extra heavy, so it's like super thick. Like this, it's upside down for you guys, but like, look at look at how thick that is. It's like the thickness of my finger. Um, and the reel is a Lose LFS Speed Spool, and I have 50 pound braid on here. I've got an imitator bait, chatter bait on here um, from when I was testing them out before we launched. Um, but I normally throw bigger, mainly bigger swim baits on here. Um, it's meant for frogging and flipping. Flipping, you're not gonna the type of grass that you would flip with. You don't use this rod for, uh, or that I have, and the grass is not thick enough for me to feel a need to use this rod. And frogging is the reason why I don't use this rod for frogging. I use a one of my medium heavies for frogging is this rod I, I use a lot of medium to a little bit smaller frogs and this frog can't cast them as far as those medium heavies so I don't really use this much um, but I love it for big swim baits I've caught some big fish on big swim baits using this rod and it casts those baits super well so and it comes with a little rod sock so um, other than that thank you guys for watching I hope you all enjoyed today's video again Make sure to go check out Fly South Apparel and Imitator Baits. We've got tons of new stuff on the website. So go check it out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.